a show called Dear to the Good Charge where two people play video games. Enjoy! This episode, Matt learns how to transition the, the episodes a little bit better. But not really, because I'm not I'm still not good at it. I don't think the gun guy is going hard, hard on you yet. He he is. I just I've I found out a way to kind of skip past some of his parts. Oh really? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit we get we get a little better every time we go through. You never you never really win at Bloodborne. You just do a little better every time. Do a little bit better, better. Is that a song? I uh, I wanna get better. Oh yeah! Holy shit, I totally forgot about that song. <laughs> uh, you know, well music is music. You want you want to ask me what my what my song I, of the week no. is? Okay, I'm telling you, it's Barney's theme song. It, what? You know Barney's theme song? I'm a dinosaur, motherfucker. Let me tell you a tale oh. about how I t put my dick inside of this no, other male. No, no, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> stop! I don't give a shit. Never, never again. Never again. I'm Never again. <laughs> my dick. No! We are done, sir. That is it. That is it! You Every episode, do you get closer to me just walking out that door, Josh, of my own home because I can't handle your insanity sometimes. Do you think uh, that's what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make this a one man show. Hello, welcome to my show where I kill people. Go ahead, Josh. I want you to try to do half of this episode by yourself. Go. Show me what your one-man show would be like. All right. So, guys, watching this, right? Look at these creatures. Not the ones with the towels over them or blankets or whatever. The, the furry guys. Don't they look like a gray furry Cyberman? It's fucking weird and awesome at the same time. It's like kind of like a, like a homage to Dragon Ball Z. Like, and if you don't know what Dragon Ball Z is, watch it. Good show. Good video game series as well. I'd say enjoy that as well. Every game is good except for Dragon Ball Z Connect. I mean, maybe some people like it. I'm not a big fan of it. It's alright. But back on the Bloodborne. Have you ever thought it was weird how it ends with an E? So you could actually call it Bloodborne A. It's like fucking French. It's like I am fucking cultured. Alright, you motherfucker. You go up to you Excuse me! Excuse me! Bloodborne A! It's like a fucking alcohol! It's like, what would you like? The 1949 Bloodborne A. Oh, it's a good year. That's a good year, sir. Yes, I know. That's why I fucking ordered it. All right? And these fucking Cybermen, they're just like, I want the Bloodborne A. All right? No. It's mine. But what we're doing right now, what we're doing right now, we're trying to get this chair guy. He has a gun. He goes, like, trying to kill us through the whole level. And you know what? He'll keep trying to kill you through the whole damn level. But if you come and kill him... I saw that laugh, Mr. Matt. I'm not here! <laughs> you dirty, dirty man. I'm not here. I've never actually been to this plate, part of the part of the level. This yes, you kind of... have. No, yes, no. Yes, you have. I fucking showed you this part of nope. the level. Nope! Yes, I did. Nope. If I, I don't, I've never played this game with you. Oh. Right. By the way, I'll be honest with you. I was enjoying your one man show. <laughs> I, I think I don't want to play. I'll just be the guy that plays a video game for you, and you just talk. <laughs> you just talk. Because uh, I think I ruined the episode. I think I ruined every episode because why? that was beautiful. No, 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 no. That was fucking beautiful. I would not. I have was asked loving you. it. I was <laughs> loving it. Bloodborne A. Bloodborne A. I know my alcohol, you uncultured swine. You uncultured swine. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to call people. Oh, uh, when they're like, what's this? I'm like, you fucking uncultured swine. <laughs> this Bloodborne A 1989. <laughs> oh my god. Try I... our Bloodborne A 1944. Oh, I got it. Oh, I was actually a little scared for a second. I yeah, am, me too. Oh. Uh... Oh, headband. I have never picked that. Yes, maybe I, you fucked I, up. I, I don't I, maybe. I don't give a shit. There's a lot of this game I guess I haven't done. Like, um... Uh, learn to explore. Yeah. Get good, as no, they I, say on the Reddit. Get good. Get good. Um, I play this more like... Like, I grind a lot when I'm playing it by myself. You were playing this game in the worst way possible. I do. So, like, but when I play with you and the guys, that's <laughs> when I actually, like, go out. So, like, when I finally got to the end of the game, I was like... I'm actually advancing by myself. I'm so like proud of myself. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it a phenomenal like yeah. feeling when I beat uh, the wet nurse by myself? Oh, for oh! the longest time! Whoa! So you Whoa. beat the wet nurse. So when I beat the wet nurse, that was the best feeling because like when you beat a boss by yourself oh, in this game. Oh my god! Yeah. Like I had that feeling too when I played Dark Souls 2, except um, 
I don't think I actually beat a boss by myself because uh, I, I played it a lot with friends. Right. So like, like getting that feeling of beating a tough boss is yeah. Especially that fucking wet nurse. She's hard as shit. She is a bitch. Oh wow, there is a lot of enemies. Like, like, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why I come up here. I like, I know some of the. Oh, I know some of the ways to to kind of uh, make it a little easier on myself. When right. I play. That's like, I like you. Like, did you see when you were you were doing your one man show? So I don't know if you're watching. Right. Uh, but uh, there was a part where I ran out into the uh, the outside area. Okay. Uh, and I, I, then I ran back into the doorway, you see. Into the doorway, such as this one, uh, kind of a little bit bigger, oh, than that, <laughs> uh, you see. And there were enemies outside, so I ran back in the doorway, and the enemies came inside with me. Okay. Uh, and that was to avoid the douchebag hunter from shooting me, you see. So all the enemies funneled in, and I was there to reap the benefits of Bloodborne A 1949. Good year, good year. Best okay. year. I'm trying to think what happened in 49. Uh, nothing that will remember. No, I thought you said nothing lore will matter. I was like, why did, what does the fucking lore have to do with this game? <laughs> I don't, I have, I would have no idea how to answer That's that. another thing about Bloodborne. I don't pay attention to the damn lore when I should. Uh, you should, because when you, I went back, so when I beat the game, I went back and I read, I read so many plot synopsises, and so many people breaking down what they thought, like, the game was meant to, to be a part of. And, like, there's, like, the history part. And I loved it. I loved learning all that kind of crap. And there was a lot to take in. But it felt really cool because then I understood what, like, kind of the point of the game was. Why certain places exist. What certain places are. Why hunters do what hunters do. Did you just, like, like Wikipedia it? Uh, no. You have to go deeper than Wikipedia to really get the, the full gist. Spark Notes? Yeah. How'd you know? Actually, I've never used Spark Notes. Oh, did you ever do good in school? No. Oh, well, that'd probably be why. <gasps> oh, fuck. Can't do good in school without Spark Notes. Best class in the... Best class. I don't know if any other high school has it. Well, probably. We had a forensics class? What? Did you take forensics? No, I didn't take fucking forensics. I took fucking forensics. When the fuck was forensics a real class? Oh my god, it was the best class in the world. Oh, wait, did we teach that? Yeah. Oh, I heard. Okay, you know what? I think I remember someone talking about it. Never got to Literally it. best class because all we did. Analyze semen? Yeah. Damn. Every day, be like... So, like, the teacher would be like, all right. So all right, Josh, we need you to jerk <laughs> off into this beaker. It's like a random, like, student every day. Like, she's like, Josh, come in come in five minutes early. Like, <laughs> We're going to need it longer. We're going to need it longer because of uh, the traffic. The traffic? Traffic. Traffic. Um, yeah, it was really weird. But I never I like, found out what this thing was, though. Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. I want some. Okay, so, no. I mean, it looks like it has the hands of one of those, like, werewolf dudes. Okay, so, okay, one time. Getting off track. Right. I did see that someone set this thing on fire. Really? Yeah. Let's try it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it was on fire. I joined the guy's game. This thing was fucking on fire. No idea. Maybe New Game Plus? Oh. Oh! Okay, so anyway, back to uh, forensics. So forensics was the best class because all we did was watch Criminal Minds, CSI. Are you fucking serious? CIS. We literally, and our final, right? Our final for that class was we had to make a crime scene out of like a little in a little box. I like got crime di diarrhea? Yeah. So, um because me and my, me and the teacher, I loved her. We we were pretty close. Yeah, you loved uh, her. Oh, we would make jokes and I remember one time that like she was showing us a video and it was like uh like how uh, plants reproduce. She was like, "Josh, you like this, right?" I was like, "Why?" This is plant porn. I was like, excuse me, could you leave the class for a second? I need five minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. And That's like, pretty I, good. I, I really like having, like, relationships with that with teachers. Yeah, you do. But I just remember, I was like, all right, I'm going to have I'm gonna have a joke. So, like, when I made it, I, I made this nice little diagram, this room, right? Uh -huh. I put the body, like the, like, the chalk marks for the body, right? And then I was like, all right, time to spill the white out. So that was supposed to be the jizz? It was supposed to be the jizz. Good lord, did it cover all of it? Because <laughs> if it did cover all of it, I would be disappointed. It covered almost the whole bed, right? Oh my god. And I used the fucking sponge as a bed. Oh my god. Like, what I did, I made the sponge the bed, and then I cut out some, like, sheets I wasn't using and, like, sewed it together so it right. looked like a nice bed. And I was just, like, poor. And then, like, I put it on the, I put it on the floor and shit and, like, the desk. And I Damn, was, even on the desk. And I was, like... I took it in, and she was like, she was like, Josh, 
Oh, I should have suspected. I thought you were going to take this seriously. I was like, dude, <laughs> it was the it's... best night of his <laughs> life. <laughs> Until think, he died. I think I got like a B or an A or something. It was like oh, a, like, come on. If you didn't get an A for that, I would be upset. Oh, it was a fun, it was such a fun class. Oh, man, I love that class. So... And then I was just like, one of these days, I was like, hey, let's do forensics, but Bloodborne. How, how would that work? So this lichen died. How did it die? You see, like, the fucking hunter right next to it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery to everybody. I guess we'll never figure out. How he died? How, how he died. This is the mystery. Have you ever watched- ah! Sorry, what? I forget already. <laughs> You're asking if, what, if I watched something? I think it was the Twilight Zone. Uh, what episode? Any of them. Some of them, yes. He has a weird show. That That's really it? That's what you, you, you were, you were making that statement for? This show kind of- I mean, this show. This game reminds me of Twilight- uh, princess for some weird reason. Twilight Princess? Yeah. Twilight Princess? We were just talking about Twilight Zone. What are you talking about? The, the dark side of the moon is what I'm talking about. What the here. fuck is happening? Am I having a stroke? Did I black out for five seconds? Or like five minutes? And we're just on this topic? I don't know how this happened. Oh. No, 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 no. I want you to explain how we got to Twilight Zone to Twilight Princess to, 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 to something else. So uh, That's pretty self-explanatory. So, Shut up. Tw yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I can just I can just listen to the playback. Just uh, excuse me. Remind that for me. Thank you. If you don't rewind it now, I'm gonna be angry. Oh, you gotta rewind it. Slow mo, dark and white clip. Thank you. Dark and white clip. Have you ever watched? Oh! Oh! Sorry, what? I forget already. <laughs> You're asking if, what, if I watched something. I think it was Twilight uh, Princess. Oh man, one of my favorite things to do. When I'm editing- OH NO! Dude. I didn't know he actually hurt you if he- If you didn't get out of the way. What? Of course he hurt you. Fucking He's monster. He's a dick. Favorite villain- Favorite enemy in Bloodborne. Go. Favorite enemy? Favorite enemy. Uh, I guess it would have to be the blue-headed dudes. Uh, the ones that look like a stereotypical alien? Yes. Why? Oh, that or vagina tree! Oh, vagina tree! There's only one vagina tree, and I absolutely love it because it's the only vagina in the game. Isn't there like a vagina like worm too, or something like that? I would I mean, not know about vagina worm. Yeah, I think there's maybe. like a giant like centipede with like a vagina face. I do not recall oh, a vagina face so, centipede. So that sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. They're though. brutal legend, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A game with Jack Black. Yeah, so like the beginning, the first like. I, I guess you can call it a boss fight, right? Right. It's this giant worm. But everything in that game is supposed to be, like, based around metal and suggestive stuff. So his mouth is literally, like... You would think it would, like, ah, it kind of looks like a vagina. But what makes you know it's a vagina? They put a little piercing on it. Oh! And I was like, you could have been subtle, man. You could have been you subtle! <laughs> I... I... <laughs> Could have been subtle. You could have added. I, I don't know what you could have added to be a little more subtle than that. I mean, but it's like, it's such a fun game and a silly game that I would just like, I'll let it be. You gotta let it go. What are you really gonna say to that? You gonna really be angry? Cause you can't be angry at vagina mouth. It's so fun. Like I don't know. It's like shit like that kind of makes me laugh. Um, but like, you ever played Dante's Inferno? Yes. So there's. Do you remember the lust stage? Yes, I think that was my favorite stage. I think I had about five jerk offs to it. The, Six. Right, be right before the boss fight, there's a bunch of pillars. Maybe eight. And I didn't. It took me a while. I'm gonna go. 20. But the pillars are actually just really long dicks. Never noticed that. That probably would have. That probably would have killed my raging boner. <laughs> Dude, no, that was such a fucking gross boss. She shot babies out of her nipples. Damn right, she shot babies out of her nipples. That's what I like. <laughs> you were just That's like... what I like to see. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Such a uh, that was a fun game though. I really enjoyed that game. I I I think it was it was pretty fun. I like how off topic, like we're off base. With, like first we talked about. Uh, Bloodborne A, and now we're on to fucking anything that has suggestive dicks in it. <laughs> suggestive dicks and or vaginas. I would like for everybody out there to comment on their most suggestive dick slash vaginas in video games. Subtle or not. <laughs> you already heard my favorite, it, Br Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend, okay. Next episode. 
Maybe more vagina dick talk. Who knows? Who knows where the night will take us? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>